What's up guys, it's Connor and I'm here doing an unboxing of the Blackberry Torch 9800. This will run you about $99 on a two year contract, $4.99 on a no commitment from AT&T. So let's get started. And as you can see, let me get it up. Uh, I got this on the refurbished equipment. So it, excuse it if it doesn't have all the pieces in order like it normally would. Which would explain the box and it being partly opened. So here we have the standard headphones. Obviously not going to be as good as ones I would buy, but okay. We have here a USB, what appears to be probably micro S, uh, micro USB. Uh, it doesn't look like mini, but it looks like micro USB. Always cool. Blackberry Torch, safety and product information. Won't need it. The quick start guide, I am a little bit unfamiliar with some of the BlackBerry specifications. I haven't really used it much since I am a big Apple fanatic, but it's the first time for everything. Wall charger, always good to have one of these on hand, and includes USB, obviously, and the little BlackBerry logo. Cool. Something to hold your micro SD card. Very nice they will include that. An install disk for user tools. Probably won't end up needing this, but you never know. Keep it anyway. More connection info. And of course, of the box, the BlackBerry Torch itself. This is a very sleek design for a BlackBerry. And slide out keyboard. And I have seen a few Blackberries in my time, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. The slide out keyboard makes it a very, very nice device. It's a very smooth slide out. It also has a touch screen which is also obviously very good, something every phone in the market should have. It also has micro USB, a lock button at the top, silent ringer switch, volume rockers, not exactly sure what that button is but I think it might be the camera button. Three and a half millimeter headset jack. Something very good and something I'm very happy about. Obviously provided by AT&T. Turn it to the back. You have a five megapixel camera with a flash. Battery pack. And still very sleek. So let me compare it real quick to a few other devices. Remove that. Here is my brand new iPod Touch 4G, fourth generation. And I know it's in a case, but it doesn't really add that much. It is just a hair thinner than the BlackBerry Torch. From the front, pretty much the same. Nearly the same size screen. Obviously from the top, just a little bit thicker than the iPod Touch. Bottom, same deal. And a comparison to my other older phone, the Samsung Impression, upside down. Screen, obviously, a lot bigger. From the side, 
the Blackberry torch is just a hair thinner, practically a hair thinner than the Samsung Impression. From the back, obviously, it's a lot wider. Thank you. Thanks to that screen. And for design, keyboard slides out horizontally. And for this, it's a vertical slide, which is okay, but I've never been too big of a fan of the very cramped keyboards. I've always liked the keyboards that gave you a lot more room. Just my opinion. So anyway, let's get booted up real quick. See what it can do. And this is running the and the BlackBerry 6 OS. And oh, we already got booted up. All the applications, AT&T, obviously, if you can see that in focus, uh, there is no SIM card yet. I need to activate it still. And everything looks to be in order. Uh, contacts, under all applications. Some really nice applications here. And the button at the bottom is also a little bit of a scroll key. More touch sensitive, sort of like the, uh, oops. That was my phone and my speakers. Uh, sort of like how the Apple Magic Mouse uses multi-touch. The same goes for this little trackball, only it's not really a trackball because it doesn't even move. It's very clever. I definitely have to give props to BlackBerry for this. Also has a built-in SD card slot somewhere in the back for expansion up to 32 gigabytes of expandable memory. It does 5.5 hours of talk time on the GSM network. It, I do believe it is a quad band phone. So even if you go outside the US, you can still talk on AT&T's network. You can get 30 hours of music playback in the uh, music player right here. You can get 18 days of standby time with the phone in standby mode and you have it in lock position like that either sleep or awake and of course 5 megapixel camera on the back and even 802.11 B, G and N built right in so anyway I hope you enjoyed this expect to see more to come on the Blackberry Torch Expect to see some comparison videos, some speed tests, and, of course, some more videos reviewing what it can do. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash thedragonrider. And be sure to check out the website, dragonridernetwork.com, for more reviews, videos, and way more tech content. I'll see you guys later, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.